Beyond the Hits is an incredible selection of songs by many of today's hottest country artists. If you just listen to the radio, you may not be familiar with many of these tracks since they were never released as singles. Blair Garner from the syndicated radio show After Midnight has put together this compilation disc full of hits that could have hit number one if they'd only been sent to radio. Kelly Lynn caught up with Blair to talk about that new project. I've got a great treat today on Inside Music Row. We're going to catch up with Blair Garner and his new project. This is so exciting. How are you? I'm doing really well, Kelly. Thank you for having us. Uh, yeah, the music project you're talking about, it's, it's called Beyond the Hits. And the whole idea is that uh, there are so many songs in Nashville, I think, that just kind of go under the radar. And, you know, one of the things that I have learned since I moved here some three years ago is the fact that each and every song that makes its way onto a project is so loved and it's so uh, finely crafted and, and, you know, fawned over that there are songs that make their way out as singles and we all know and love those, that doesn't mean that the other ones are any less special. So that's the whole idea for Beyond the Hits. What a great idea and obviously no better person than you to come up with this because <laughs> you listen to all these albums, you interview these artists, you've been doing this for a couple of decades, right? Well, a couple of decades, yes. I started when I was 12. Yeah, and, uh, well, of course, only, me yeah, too. <laughs> you too, right? Yeah, I think it was a, it was a warm day in the summer. But you've been doing it a long time and you, and you know, you have a feel for what could have been a hit because you pretty much all of these you've I think quoted should have been number ones well I believe that they could have been number ones had the nod been given to them just it's the mus music business is such that uh, you know you're lucky if you get three maybe four singles off of an album and then you need to put out another one that's just the way that it's always been uh, the hardcore fans you know they sometimes know that the best songs are the ones that not everybody else knows and it's it's interesting when you hear these back to back and you're like yeah that's that's Tim McGraw wow that's Rascal that's I know that's Carrie Underwood and you hear these songs back to back Keith Urban when we talked with him about the project he put it best he said what you're doing is album oriented country these are songs from the voices that you know but you don't know the songs and what's incredible is just on this one project we're talking over 200 uh, 258 million albums sold wow. between all the artists on the project. Yeah, because you got A-listers. I mean, wow. we were talking Lady Antebellum, Carrie Underwood, Alan Jackson, Tim McGraw. Rascal Flatts, Kenny Lee Chesney, Chesney, it just goes on and on. There are over 200 number one hits between all of them. Wow, wow. So. And, and I saw a song actually that I do know, the Tim McGraw, um, Can't Tell Can't Me Nothing. Tell me nothing. Yeah. What a great song. You know, that's actually one of my favorite Tim McGraw songs. And uh, I, I the reason that it never came out as a single, I think there were a lot of things beyond uh, that had to deal with the songwriter at the time. Uh, but as I understand it, now this is what Tim told me, that Taylor Swift, this was her favorite song of his album, off that, that album at the time, uh, Live Like You're Dying. And it was allegedly that song that led her to write the song Tim About McGraw. Tim McGraw, wow, I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear all of them. There's 20 tracks on there, is that right? 20 tracks in all, 999s are getting under, or getting over 20 cuts, or you're getting 20 cuts for under 10 bucks. Wow, yeah. super deal. And then like you said, you're getting all the artists right there in one spot. And for fans like me, that's, that's a great deal. Well, we think it's a good deal, and we hope everyone will enjoy it. Uh, again, it's available on iTunes. It's iTunes.com slash Beyond the Hits. All right, I love it. And we also have to mention the money is for charity, a portion yeah, of the profit. Absolutely. Three different charities involved uh, are good friends of the ACMs, the CMAs. Uh, the Lifting Lives is the one with the CMAs, and it's about, I'm sorry, the ACMs. That's about helping people who most need it. Uh, the one for the CMAs is especially near and dear to my heart. It's about keeping the music playing in the schools. My father was a 50 year, 60 year band director. So, and I know what music has meant in my own life, and I know what it means for other kids as well. So, a lot. and then of course St. Jude's, I think, is uh, one of the best Every charities. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You don't. So, when you buy the project, you're going to be actually helping a lot of people as well. So, that's that's actually one of the underlying and main reasons for doing this. Wow, and I'm a huge fan of your show. Stop After it. Midnight, we love it. I know you all have heard his show. Tell me one of the most exciting things about doing that. I think that one of the greatest things about being in Music City is just simply getting to interact with the people who make this music. Fewer than 200 yards away right now, Rascal Flatts are working on their next album. Uh, Taylor Swift was in recently working on her new album. Um, you never know who you're going to run into in this town, Tim McGraw. Uh, it's just, it's a non-stop festival of creativity and I'm just happy to be at the mix or in the center of the mix.
After two decades in the music business, Blair has helped the careers of many country artists, so he definitely knows what he's talking about. When you buy your copy of Beyond the Hits on iTunes, you'll help support a few of his favorite charities like St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, ACM's Lifting Lives program, and CMA's Keep the Music Playing. We still have tons more music up ahead, so don't go away. We'll catch up with hot songwriter Casey Bethard when we come back.